Hi everyone, this is Maverick Paul, the Chemistry Guru. Now in this video, we want to discuss intermolecular hydrogen bond versus intramolecular hydrogen bond and the effects of intramolecular hydrogen bonding on the melting point or boiling point of simple molecules. Now let us start the discussion using an example. Now what we have here are three isomers. Basically, they are all hydroxy benzoic acid, but the hydroxy group it is attached to a different position. So the first compound will be 2-hydroxy benzoic acid. The next one will be 3-hydroxy benzoic acid, followed by this guy will be 4-hydroxy benzoic acid. And you notice there is a difference in the melting point. 2-hydroxy benzoic acid, where the two groups are closer together, the OH group and the acid group, if they are closer together, then the melting point will be 158.6 degrees C, which is the lowest melting point in this example. Now, if I look at 3-hydroxy benzoic acid, where the OH group it is further away from the acid group, the melting point will be 201 degrees C, which is slightly higher than the melting point of 2-hydroxy benzoic acid. Now, for 4-hydroxy benzoic acid, where the OH group it is pointing directly opposite the acid group, then it is furthest away from it, we notice the melting point it is the highest, 214.5 degrees C. So, what we do know is acid functional group is capable of forming hydrogen bond between molecules. The OH group is also capable of forming hydrogen bond between molecules. So that's what we have covered under intermolecular forces. We say that we have three types of intermolecular force. IDID, instantaneous dipole induced dipole interaction, or van der Waals forces or dispersion forces. Permanent dipole, permanent dipole interaction. And the third one will be hydrogen bonds. So we do know that all these three isomers, they are capable of forming hydrogen bond. So what is interesting is we notice the position of the OH group and the acid group with respect to each other. Somehow it affects the intermolecular bonding between these molecules and in turn it affects the melting point. So we want to spend a bit of time to explain why when the OH group it is closer to the acid group, somehow it affects the extent of the intermolecular hydrogen bonding in these compounds. Now first, let us look at the intermolecular hydrogen bond in 4-hydroxy benzoic acid, where the acid group and the alcohol group, they are pointing directly opposite each other. Because the two groups, they are pointing opposite each other, so therefore, they are not capable of interacting between each other within this same molecule. So what this means is, this OH group will be able to form intermolecular hydrogen bond with a neighboring molecule, which is shown here, now remember, hydrogen bond is formed between an electronegative element, oxygen in this case, and a hydrogen which is attached to another electronegative element, which is oxygen in this case. So this hydrogen it is attached to an electronegative oxygen. This hydrogen will be delta positive charge. Oxygen it is a delta minus charge. And this oxygen can use its lone pair to interact with this hydrogen from a neighboring molecule. So therefore, this is considered as a intermolecular hydrogen bond, intermolecular hydrogen bond because it is between one molecule and another molecule. Now, similarly, this acid group, it is also capable of forming intermolecular hydrogen bond with a neighbor. This hydrogen, which is partial positive charge, can interact with an oxygen from a neighboring molecule, which is partial minus charge. And this interaction, it is also called intermolecular hydrogen bond between this molecule and another molecule. So, what 4-hydroxy benzoic acid can do is it can form the maximum amount of intermolecular hydrogen bond per molecule. So for 4-hydroxy benzoic acid, the extensiveness of the hydrogen bond would be the most extensive. It can form the most number of hydrogen bond per molecule. So therefore, 4-hydroxy benzoic acid would have a higher melting point. Now conversely, if we consider 2-hydroxy benzoic acid, now because the hydroxy group and the acid group, they are very near to each other because this OH group, it is at position 2, just next to the acid group, then what it is capable of doing is it is capable of forming hydrogen bond between this hydroxy group and the acid group within this same molecule. So we call this type of hydrogen bond that is within the same molecule, we call this intramolecular hydrogen bond. Intra means it is within the molecule. And the intramolecular hydrogen bonding, it is shown here. I have this oxygen from the hydroxy group, which is a partial minus charge. I have a hydrogen from the acid group, which is a partial positive charge. 
So this interaction between this delta minus oxygen and delta positive hydrogen will be intramolecular hydrogen bonding. Now this is still hydrogen bond, but because it is occurring within the molecule, we call this intramolecular hydrogen bond. Of course, the next consideration is, so what if it can form intramolecular hydrogen bond? How does it affect the melting point of 2-hydroxy benzoic acid? Now, how does intramolecular hydrogen bond in 2-hydroxy benzoic acid affect the melting point of 2-hydroxy benzoic acid? Now, we can view it in this way. If 2-hydroxy benzoic acid, it has intramolecular hydrogen bond, then this intramolecular hydrogen bond, it is used up for interaction within this molecule. So therefore, it is not capable of forming intermolecular interaction. So we treat it that the hydrogen bond can only be used once for that molecule. So in this case, if it is used up within the molecule, then I cannot use the same hydrogen bond for intermolecular interaction. So the interaction between this 2-hydroxy benzoic acid that has intramolecular hydrogen bond versus another of these 2-hydroxy benzoic acid, which also can form intramolecular hydrogen bond. So between this 2-hydroxy benzoic acid and another of the same molecule, the hydrogen bonding it is used up. I must make use of some other interaction. So what I've drawn here is the interaction between the benzene group and the benzene group. And because benzene it is made up of carbon and hydrogen, it is non-polar. So maybe I will treat this as instantaneous dipole induced dipole attraction between the molecules. Now, some of us will refer to this as dispersion forces. Some of us will call this van der Waals forces, but it is essentially the same. It is the interaction between non-polar species because benzene is non-polar. So the interaction between this non-polar benzene and another non-polar benzene, it is intermolecular interaction because it is between two different molecules. And we say that this is ID-ID attraction or instantaneous dipole induced dipole attraction. So similarly, this 2-hydroxy benzoic acid because it forms intramolecular hydrogen bond. So the hydrogen bond is used up. It is not used for intermolecular interaction between molecules. So it has to use some other interaction between molecules. Again, it will be intermolecular instantaneous dipole induced dipole attraction. So finally, if we want to compare the melting points, if we put the two molecules side by side, 2-hydroxy benzoic acid versus 4-hydroxy benzoic acid. Now remember for 2-hydroxy benzoic acid, because it forms intramolecular hydrogen bond, because the OH group and the acid group, they are very close by. So therefore, they can form intramolecular hydrogen bond. And because the hydrogen bond it is being used up within the molecule, so therefore, between molecules, we will have to use some other interactions which tends to be weaker. So in this case, 2-hydroxy benzoic acid will have to use intermolecular ID-ID attraction. Now remember, because 2-hydroxy benzoic acid can form intramolecular hydrogen bond, so the consequence is it has to use some other interaction, which is weaker ID-ID attraction between the molecules. And because the intermolecular forces is weaker, so it will tend to have a lower melting point, which in this example, we have 158.6 degrees Celsius. Now, if I compare this with 4-hydroxy benzoic acid, remember because the hydroxy group and the acid group, they are pointing directly opposite each other. So there's no intramolecular hydrogen bond. If there's no intramolecular hydrogen bond within this molecule, then hydrogen bonding can be used between molecules. So the intermolecular forces will be hydrogen bond, which tends to be stronger. So for 4-hydroxy benzoic acid, there's no intramolecular hydrogen bond. I can form stronger hydrogen bond between molecules. So therefore, the melting point will be higher, 214.5 degrees Celsius. All right, so that was the discussion involving intramolecular hydrogen bonding versus intermolecular hydrogen bonding and how intramolecular hydrogen bonds will lower the melting point of simple molecules. So if you have learned something useful from this video, please give me the thumbs up, like this video, and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more weekly video lessons. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.